confetti, streamers, burla macchia and pulcinella, but also cenci, chiacchiere, cassatelle and cassagnole. Today we'll show you how to prepare this quick and delicious recipe. Made in Romagna but spread throughout Italy. Oil on the stove, let's fry! Everyone likes carnival, adults and little ones, but the heart of a girl from Viareggio like me pumps confetti, so enough with the talking, let's knead. Sugar, flour, butter at room temperature, a pinch of salt, eggs, baking powder, lemon zest, anise liqueur, seeds of a vanilla berry and more sugar to sprinkle. Seed oil for frying. Ingredients all in a bowl, messy and happy as carnival dictates. Let's start with the flour. Let's add the yeast through a sieve, granulated sugar and vanilla seeds. To amalgamate them better with the dough, I'll mix them like this. This way I will avoid black streaks in the castagnole. In the bowl, a pinch of salt, the rind of an untreated lemon, then anise liqueur, if you prefer you can replace with another one as you like, X. and butter at room temperature. The right consistency must be like this. I start mixing with a fork at first, just as a help, and then I continue by hand. Once I get a dough like this, nice and soft, I move it to the work table and continue to knead it with a pinch of flour. And now that its appearance is uniform, I put it in a bowl, cover it with cling film and let it rest for half an hour. I've already put the oil on the stove, it's time to shape the castagnole. So I take a piece of dough with a tarot, I flour slightly the work table, and I make a biroldino. Now, again with the help of the tarot, I cut the dough in small chunks like this, more or less the size of a chestnut. The exact weight must be 12 grams. I shape them into little balls. And I can fry. Oil has reached the ideal temperature, which is 170 degrees. A higher temperature would brown them too much on the outside without cooking them inside. I dip them with the help of a skimmer, a few at a time not to lower the temperature of the oil. I mix them often to promote a uniform golden fried result. Once this color is reached, I can drain them, dry them on absorbent paper and then roll them in sugar. This way, they will be even sweeter and slightly humid. The first ones are ready, so I can keep going with all the others. Small and tasty, even better if eaten hot. Bon appétit!